Oh, all those things that you learn. It makes you feel kind of humble about how silly it can be, but we moved the fencing out of, I don't know, three or four days ago, and then we saw that we were probably missing a rooster this morning, um, a speckled male, and so we... I told John yesterday when we when we were when the goats got loose that I was handling the fencing and it didn't seem to be on. <clears throat> but he couldn't figure out, you know, why it wasn't on or whatever. Didn't really spend that much time on it. He was also working on the um lawnmower getting it started. The mice chewed actually some of the wiring so that the lawnmower wasn't starting and so um I figured out that once we moved the the fencing, uh, we never actually hooked it back up with this um, main black line over here. This black line actually is supposed to go all the way to the fencing, but it's short by about maybe 15 feet. And so it doesn't get very far, huh, Gaia? Yeah. Uh-oh, whoop, whoop, we can't go any further. So daddy's actually looking at extending it, but we may have lost the speckled rooster. We don't know where he is. So keep an eye out for him, okay? I, I just saw him over there. The speckled rooster, you sure? That one? No, the male. No, he's the speckled rooster too, but the, the big one, the big one that's almost as big as the white one. So, and so if you are doing a homestead, there are things that you're going to make mistakes on. There are things that are going to cost you livestock. There are things that are going to, you're going to learn and feel dumb about. And, you know, that's just part of, you know, doing it and doing it, um, and just trying to be humble and continue to learn and be aware and not have multiple projects going on at the same time that to distract you. So John was trying to get the, the lawnmower running, not only to mow the lawn, but we got a whole new um, assembly for uh, the pulleys and the parts and everything. So this is gonna all be rebuilt all of that because right now I don't know if you can see but this one actually broke broke off so that that's not supposed to look like that so this this, this diagram over here shows the what we're going to replace the entire bottom of the mower will be mower deck will be replaced hopefully today and then we'll be able to start mowing again yay daddy has more wire yeah. plenty look at that my buddy my buddy he goes with me my buddy <gasps> Anyway, okay. Yeah, people kind of joke about uh, farmers not being very smart, and that's not not necessarily true. The ingenuity, the abilities, you know, they're they're a mechanic, they're a plumber, they're an electrician, you know, they're a cook, they're a pro you know, food processor, you know, they preserver, and you know, they they just do so many. They're they're a homeschool teacher. They're you know, they're farmers are amazing at knowing a soil pH and and you know where to put plants you know, for different lighting and you know how to build construct and uh, you know it's like they could be a structural engineer and all these other things and soil ecologist and yeah there is there's a mouse or a rat in the rat trap you think it's a mouse or you think it's a rat I don't know you don't know is it small Yeah, shut the gate. You should yeah, shut the door so that the chickens don't get in and eat our, eat our start. Oh, another little mouse. 
But it looks like it went through and actually ate the food off of two of them. So there's potentially more of them. It's hard because we can't really reseed the beds until we're sure that there isn't any more mice chewing them up and eating them. So we're not just feeding them. I will keep doing this for a couple more days, I guess, and try to reduce the, the population of mice, I guess, around here that are... And then we'll keep them probably set up just in case they do get in. But that's that's part of it. All these things, steps and processes and stuff like that that we'll get better and better at as we, as we go. A lot of other people might know exactly what they're doing, but, but we're doing okay. Yay! We did keep the the end closed to the greenhouse. Thank goodness it was 27 degrees last night and frost. Hopefully our buds on our fruit trees didn't uh, didn't die off. Hopefully they didn't. It's five degrees lower than freezing, so I might might have nipped them a little bit too much, but hopefully not. Well, we'll find out. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye.